Hi, John. It's been such a long time. How have you been? Hi, Emma. I've been great, thanks. It's really nice to see you again. How about you? I've been good, too, busy with work and everything, but overall, I'm doing well. So, what have you been up to lately? Oh, a lot has happened since we last met. Last month, I traveled to Japan. It was an amazing experience. Wow, Japan. That sounds incredible. What did you do there? I visited Tokyo, Kyoto, and Osaka. In Tokyo, I explored the city and visited places like Shibuya Crossing and the Tokyo Tower. Kyoto was beautiful with all the temples and traditional gardens. I also attended a tea ceremony there. That must have been so interesting. Did you try any traditional Japanese food? Yes, I did. I tried sushi, ramen, and tempura. I even had a chance to eat kaiseki, which is a traditional multi-course Japanese dinner. It was delicious. I'm sure it was. I've always wanted to visit Japan. Maybe someday I'll get the chance. So, did anything else exciting happen recently? Actually, yes. Last year, I went on a road trip across the United States. I drove from New York to Los Angeles. It was such an adventure. That sounds like a dream trip. Which places did you visit along the way? I visited several national parks like the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone and Yosemite. I also stopped by cities like Chicago, Denver and Las Vegas. Each place had its own unique charm. I bet the landscapes were breathtaking. Did you go alone or with friends? I went with a couple of friends. We took turns driving and camping out in different locations. It was a great bonding experience. I can imagine. Speaking of trips, I went to Italy last summer. I visited Rome, Florence and Venice. Italy is on my bucket list too. How was your trip? It was fantastic. In Rome, I visited the Colosseum, the Vatican and the Trevi Fountain. Florence was all about art and architecture. I saw Michelangelo's David and walked across the Ponte Vecchio. Venice was magical with its canals and gondolas. That sounds wonderful. Did you try any Italian cuisine? Yes, of course. I had pasta, pizza and gelato almost every day. The food was so fresh and delicious. I also tried some local wines, which were amazing. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Did you learn any Italian? I picked up a few phrases here and there, enough to get by. The locals were very friendly and helpful, so it wasn't too difficult. That's great. Traveling really broadens your horizons. Do you have any other travel plans coming up? Not at the moment, but I'm hoping to plan a trip to Australia next year. I've always wanted to see the Great Barrier Reef and Sydney Opera House. Australia sounds like an exciting destination. I hope you get to go. So, how's work been treating you? Work has been busy, but rewarding. I got promoted to project manager last year, so I have a lot more responsibilities now. But I enjoy the challenge. Congratulations on the promotion. That's fantastic news. What kind of projects are you working on? Thank you. I'm currently managing a team that's developing a new software application. It's a lot of work, but we're making good progress. That sounds impressive. I've been working on a few new projects myself. I recently finished a big marketing campaign for a client, and it went really well. That's great to hear. It sounds like we've both been keeping busy. Do you remember our school days and how different things were back then? Oh, absolutely. Those were simpler times. Do you remember the school play we did in our senior year? How could I forget? You played the lead role, and I was one of the supporting characters. It was so much fun, but also nerve-wracking. I remember rehearsing for hours after school. We put so much effort into it, but it all paid off in the end. The performance was a huge success. Yes, it was. And do you remember our biology class? Mr. Thompson was such a great teacher. Of course. He made learning so interesting. Remember the time we had to dissect frogs? I was so squeamish at first. Yes, I remember. But you did great, and it turned out to be a fascinating experience. I think that class sparked my interest in science. Me too. Mr. Thompson really knew how to engage his students. Speaking of school, do you still keep in touch with anyone from our class? Yes, I do. I'm still in contact with Sarah and Mike. We try to meet up every few months. How about you? I keep in touch with a few people as well. 
I recently reconnected with Tom. We had lunch together and caught up on old times. That's nice. It's always great to catch up with old friends. Do you remember our graduation day? I do. It was such a memorable day. The ceremony, the speeches, and the celebration afterward. It felt like the end of an era. Absolutely. We were all so excited about the future and what it would bring. It's amazing to see how far we've all come since then. It really is. Life has taken us on different paths, but it's nice to see that we're all doing well. Speaking of life events, did you hear about Mark's wedding last year? Yes, I did. I saw some pictures on social media. It looked like a beautiful ceremony. It was. I attended the wedding and it was a wonderful event. Mark and his wife looked so happy. It was great to see some old friends there as well. I wish I could have attended. I had a work commitment that I couldn't get out of. But I'm glad it went well. Maybe we can all get together sometime soon? It would be nice to have a mini reunion. That's a great idea. Let's plan something. It would be fun to catch up with everyone. Definitely. So, do you have any hobbies or activities you've been enjoying lately? Yes, I've taken up painting. It's something I've always wanted to try, and I find it very relaxing. I've been attending a weekly art class. That sounds wonderful. I've always admired people who can paint. Have you completed any pieces yet? I have. I've done a few landscapes and some abstract art. I'm still learning, but I'm enjoying the process. That's great. I've been playing the guitar some more. I joined a local band, and we've been performing at small venues around town. That's amazing. I didn't know you played the guitar. What kind of music do you play? We play a mix of rock and blues. It's a lot of fun, and it's a great way to unwind after a long week. I'd love to come see one of your performances sometime. You're welcome anytime. We have a gig next Friday at the local pub. You should come. I'll definitely try to make it. It sounds like a lot of fun. Great. I'll save you a seat. So what else have you been up to? Well, I've also been volunteering at an animal shelter on weekends. I love spending time with the animals and helping out. That's wonderful. I've been thinking about volunteering myself. It must be very rewarding. It is. The animals are so loving and grateful. It's a great way to give back to the community. I might look into volunteering as well. It sounds like a great way to spend some free time. Definitely. So, do you have any plans for the upcoming holidays? Yes, I'm planning to visit my family. We usually have a, a big gathering with lots of food and fun activities. How about you? I'm planning to visit my parents as well. We always have a big holiday dinner and exchange gifts. It's a special time of year. It really is. Family time is so important. Do you have any 